does weight matter in data? Intuitively, we know that weight does matter, so let's take a look at this study. Here is a study from Chinese largest dating app um, with over 500,000 people on here. And we're looking at the number of first contacts that people get on the dating apps versus what is their BMI. And for those who don't know, BMI is essentially their height versus their weight calculations. Typically 18 to 27 BMI is considered normal. So let's take a look at men's first. For people that are extremely underweight with less than 15, then we can see that um, it has very high variance. And surprisingly, they have a very high amount of messages. Maybe there is some niche market for really skinny men, but typically what we do see is a normal distribution around the BMI here, where if you're skinnier, you will get less contacts and the optimal um, BMI is 27. For those who don't know what 27 BMI looks like, this is what he looks like, packed with muscles. And of course, there are the ones that have 27 BMI, but has more fat. But regardless, um, they still have a very high preference. As men get more overweight, um, they do have less options, but there's also more variability in the variance as well, which means that maybe there's some niche market that people really likes more chubby guys. Now let's take a look at women. Um, for really, really skinny women, like underweight, we actually see very few first contacts. And 16 to 18 has the highest contact. For women, there's a negative correlation between um, increased BMI versus how many um, contacts they get. Up to the point where we get to the really chubby woman, um, there's very high variance, which means that, again, there could be a niche market for very chubby women. But clearly, the optimal um, BMI for women is uh, around 17. This is Bella Hadid, and her BMI is at 18. For men, the optimal BMI is 27, which is on the higher end of being normal. And for women, the optimal BMI is 18, which is on the lower end of normal.